it's been stressful a little bit, but like I said, man, I'm just glad I'm here. I mean, it's a blessing. I want to you know, give all thanks to God. I mean, I couldn't have got this far without him. Just my faith, my family, you know, and, you know, the coaches believe in me, so. Appreciate it. Um, Zach, apologize if you've been asked about this already, but just, uh, you know, whatever this opportunity looks like ahead for you, what does it mean to you to, you know, be able to have it? Uh, you know, like I just told them, I mean, we, we, they haven't told me anything yet, but I mean, just to think about it, I mean, it's a good feeling. I mean, the hard work, you know, it's, it, it soon as you get the card to where you get to display it. You know, I get, I might, I possibly get, might get the show it this Sunday. So, I mean, I'm excited. Like I said, I just got to stay ready, so I ain't got to get ready. I mean, be ready on all cylinders. Whatever the team need me to be, I'm going to be there. When we were talking to Rob on Monday, he mentioned and spoke highly of the work he'd been doing on the scout team, especially over the last six weeks. Um, how has that helped you and prepared you for you know what's to come as far as the way you've made the most of that? Going against AD is crazy. <laughs> but nah, seriously though, uh, I mean, just going against our defense is phenomenal, man. I mean, I believe we got one of the best defenses in the field. I mean, regardless of what the stats say, whatever everybody else does, I mean, I go against them boys every day, so I know what they bring to the table. They just get me ready for Sunday. Whenever my name get called, I mean, I'm gonna go in there and be ready. I go against AD every day. I go against a safety like Jordan Fuller, you know, Rush East. I mean, I got linebackers like Ernest Jones coming at me. I mean. I feel like I'm going against the best of the best already. Hey, I'm just here to uh, do whatever they ask me to do. I help this team win. So, do you? Uh, what's it feel like when you get this next opportunity? Uh, when you had been here before, then you're out of the league, and now you get another shot. I don't know. You just got to take the advantage of every opportunity, and uh, that's what I'm here to do. Like I said, like, what they ask me to do, I'm gonna be here to do it, and. Uh, I'm gonna do it to my best ability, so like that's what they uh, call me for. So like, all I can do is do whatever they ask me to do. So. There's an old cliche in life that you know, once you ride a bike, you never forget how. When you're you are back in this system, is it like that riding a bike, or does it take a little bit more to get used to the play calls and that stuff? I mean, it's. I mean, I get it. I'm clicking with it. It's just like. It's some little, uh, a little different details and uh, a little wording different, but I'm just relating it and I'm going as I go and uh, it's starting to click with me. So, you know, never knowing when the time is going to come, but being prepared when it does. So, I mean, it's a great feeling and uh, just locked in throughout the whole process uh, between being elevated and, you know, sometimes not uh, just just ready for opportunity. What have the was the experience over the last six weeks in terms of kind of like what you just talked about? Um, how has that helped you, and and how's that prepared you for what's to come? Yeah, I mean it's prepared me just like you said. I mean I've been through in this situation before prior, um, so just staying ready. You know, never knowing when your number is called, but uh, you know with the NFL, you know it's a crazy league, and uh, when it is called, just being able to be ready so they can implement you however they see fit and um, ready to do so. What's this week going to be like? Where you guys are really all competing? Mm -hmm. to see who who's going to be you know active on sunday oh i mean i think it's gonna it's gonna be it's, it's good for the room i mean i think everybody encourages one another in that room everybody is capable and ready and um just going about the week locking in and making sure we're on our p's and q's and and you know just going over the details and just letting that handle itself uh, what sort of things do you feel like you bring to the rotation obviously as, as one of the guys with you know a lot of experience yeah I mean the experience factor is definitely it um, uh, being versatile I mean I've, I've been elevated play special teams so it can be implemented in that way um, running the ball you know as a, as a bigger a bigger back but also balance as far as being able to be using the pass game protections um, and being being here for a good amount of time being familiar with the, the system. The, the, you know, the lifespan of an NFL running back is so short these days, whether it should be or not. Mm -hmm. Is there just an extra appreciation with what's going on for you this week and the chance that you might be out there against the Steelers on Sunday? Uh, yes, sir. I mean, most definitely. I mean, I mean, the Lord's blessed me. I mean, to play this long, uh, like you said, but to also have an opportunity to, to be out there with my brothers, um, being able to go out there and showcase um, what I have and what I have, uh, what I have to offer, you know, and um, you know, go out there and make a place. Um, I just came over here, got the call um, first thing in the morning and just made my way over here and just decided to do whatever whatever coach asked me to do and uh, just kind of fill into that role. Mm -hmm. That's you, all. You've had a couple times when you got in, made some big plays, so you feel prepared <laughs> if called upon to start? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Just ready to make plays and just what, like I said, whatever coach asked me to do, I'm more than willing to do it. I'm excited to be here. Excited to be back on the West Coast. I'm close to home. So, I mean, I feel like the stars line for me to get here. I was just talking to my parents about situation and all that stuff just about like a week ago and it's crazy to end up in LA. So, it's, mm -hmm. it's great.
zero experience in the Dolphins' offense give you any level of comfort in this scheme? Um, yeah, I mean, just uh, just kind of some of the play calls, but um, I kind of just try to treat every place I've been just like this new book, trying to get acclimated to the locker room, get acclimated with these new coaches, and uh, just trying to learn as much as I can, soak as much as I can. Be a sponge and uh, just try and get better. And like I said, just be ready for whenever my number is called upon, and just be just be ready. Has there been anything that surprised you in the short time you've been here? Um, how far the facility is from the airport? <laughs> <laughs> like an hour long drive. But uh, outside of that, no, nah, I'm just I'm just happy to be here. So. When when you found out this would be your next opportunity, just what was your reaction, especially after being on the Vikings practice squad? Um, definitely, my eyes lit up. Just very excited. Like I said, just be back on the West Coast. Uh, be close to family and uh i mean this is a great organization and uh i'm just i'm just excited to help and do what i can and being back on the active roster is very much a blessing and do nothing but else thank god and just uh make the most out of this opportunity for a, guy carried, for a guy who carried such a big role at u-dub and you know and in miami too what was it like taking in this spent phase of your career where you weren't getting the ball every week and you know it was a different kind of preparation i assume different but just gotta stay true to my process stay true to i mean you see guys do it every year you know the kind of ups and downs of their career and i've talked to a lot of guys that uh had ups and downs in their career especially in miami as long as i spent there and uh kind of the biggest thing i took away from that was just stay true to your process stay true to your work um that's what got you to the league and that's what's going to keep you in the league and it's not just work do the same work. You got to work that much harder to get back to where you want to be and stay where you want to be. So I think that just kind of, kind of all that advice I had soaked up from the last four years in Miami um, kind of paid off and, you know, listening to the right people. So. Being in Minnesota. Hmm? Who did you talk to? Um, let's go with, uh, who's a guy that I really talked to? Vince um, Beagle. Vince Beagle was probably the biggest dude I talked to through my time in Miami. He had a couple injuries and kind of just being in the, um, training room with him he just kind of stayed telling me to stay true to my process and watching him through his uh his injuries and stuff like that and just kind of just learning that and just kind of watching from a bird's eye view just kind of seeing how guys go about it so that's probably the biggest thing but i wouldn't say it's any one person just kind of just being around the nfl being around the league everybody has their own story everybody has their own journey so you just kind of pick up those things and you see the successful guys and what made them successful and it's, it's not always the first round picks or the big name guys that end up staying in the league for an extended amount of time you know being I'm, curious, I'm kind of curious, um, when you get the call that you're you know, being signed elsewhere, what's the first thing that happens? Do you get immediately sent the playbook? What, like, who, who reaches out? Like, how um, so uh, who do I get reached out by first? Probably a running back coach, um, but kind of like the player engagement people, just trying to organize your flight, stuff like that. But the first thing I did, as soon as I got it, I just started packing a bag. I was like, let's get on this. Let's get this going. Let's get about it, Minnesota. I love Minnesota. I appreciate everything over there. But I was excited to come to L.A. And um, just with the opportunity that I, I've been afforded, I was just really excited for it. So uh, I was ready to go. So Being in that, in that uh, Minnesota system of Kevin O'Connell, yeah, yeah. having come from the Rams, are there – is it going to be easy for you to slide in terminology wise or scheme wise? Or? Um, I wouldn't say easy, but there are some things that carry over. Um, I don't ever try to look at things as just being easy and trying to like take it for granted. Um, just trying, like I said, just soak up as much as I can. And uh, there's different wording, there's different things for each offense. But yes, yeah, it comes from the same trees, kind of family of offense. So yeah. Mm -hmm.